guys, Manon here and welcome to this week's video. So, as I promised last week, and even though I had some problems, let's go and do Rin's makeup. Rin is from Free. I have done his cosplay a long time ago. I did Splash Free. And I did the Wolf Halloween costume. I still want to make the police version someday when I have the times and when fate is not occupying my entire existence. So let's get started! Yo! First of all, I start by tying my hair. I put a headband to get all my hair together. And after that, I insert my wig cap. It helps me take away all the hair from my face when I'm doing delicate parts of the makeup. If you have longer hairs, you might check out the tutorials online, but usually it involves making a braid and pinning it to the top. You may use a lot of bobby pins if you wish. But in my case, I really don't need any, because my hair is very short and it fits well inside most wigs. After starting applying any product on my face, I put on my contact lenses. I start by inserting the left one and then the right one. I always have my lens liquid near me if there is any need to clean them or clean my eyes. Please never put your lens liquid on your eyes directly. You use it to wash your lenses, but you need to have eye solutions to help you inserting the lenses if you have a lot of tear problems. Then we can get started with our makeup. First, I wash my face, which I have already done, and then I apply moisturizing cream. Some people that don't have primers need to moisturize their faces. In my case I do have one, but I prefer to show you this as well because a lot of people don't know that they have to moisturize before they start applying their makeup. Afterwards I apply the primer. I put a bit on the tip of my fingers and I apply it in circular motions around my face. I try to get all the places, the nose, the cheeks, the chin and my forehead. And I also apply it on the neck so there is not a color difference when I apply my foundation. Then we start by applying the concealer. With a soft tiny brush, I take the concealer from the container and I apply it on the places that I need more. Dark circles, spots, moles, freckles, etc. After that, with the tip of my fingers, I pat the concealer. I don't smear it with my fingers, I just tap it lightly with the tips of my fingers and the palm of my hand. You don't want the concealer to be spread on your face, you want the concealer to cover and using your fingers will give that effect. If you smear it, you will just cake your makeup. When the concealer is applied, I finally apply my foundation. I put a nut on the tip of my fingers and I apply it cross-shaped on my forehead, on my chin and on my cheeks and sometimes on the tip of my nose. In this case, today I have a spot on my nose, so I apply it there as well. And after that, with the tip of my fingers, I will smear it on my face. You can also use a sponge or a brush if you don't like using your fingers. I prefer to use my fingers because I get more in contact with the product in my face so I know when there are no lumps or makeup caked on my face. And then I apply the pore remover. So 
some people use this product before the foundation but I use it after because it's after the foundation and the concealer that I can see which pores are still visible and I apply it with tapping motions on the places that I need most usually my nose, my cheeks, my forehead and my chin which have bigger pores that I'm trying to fight against and then I apply a pressing powder the function is to seal the makeup a bit and to take away all the shine that the foundation and the liquid products I applied left on my face. The next step is optional, but I apply a bit of spirit gum on my eyebrows to put all the little hairs together so it will be easier for me to make my eyebrows later on For now, I let them dry and let's go to the worst part, the eyeliner. Then we start with the front eyeliner. The eyeliner is always the most difficult part for most people, but it's not that hard once you practice. I do the top lid first, I start from the inner corner of my eye to the outside. It's just a simple line that ends with the wing. You will have to practice this a lot, but eventually you will get there. It's just a very thin line that starts from the corner and gets bigger towards the end. You don't need to do anything more extreme for Rin. His eyes are very simple. Then it's the time for the waterline. You start from the outer corner of your eye this time towards the center. You just draw a simple line that goes all the way through your waterline. Depending on your eye shape you might want to get it closer or farther from your waterline but I do it very close, as closer as I can not to hurt my eyes. I take also my time to draw a bit of the corner of my eyes. I do a tiny line just to simulate the beginning of your eyelashes. The next step is also optional because a lot of people have double lids. I have very hooded lids, so I take my time to also draw my double lids because from some positions you can't really see my eyelids, so I look like a lizard with tons of makeup on without having my double lids. If you have hooded lids like me, you have two ways to do this. I draw my lines with my eyeliner, but I, you can also do them using eyeshadow or powder. Then the second most complicated part starts, the eyebrows. You draw them from the inside to the outside, just as the eyeliner. You pick the pencil, the red pencil in this case, which is Rin, and you just draw over your eyebrows. I'm not going to do anything very complicated here. Rin's eyebrows are thin, but not that thin, so you don't need to have them extremely thin. I do my eyebrows for cosplay, most people know that. I try to shape them as close as I can to the characters that I cosplay. So I'm not going to say just take away all of your eyebrows and be crazy like me. You do what you want. It's really a choice. But if your eyebrows are very dark or very hairy, you can try concealing methods. I am thinking about making a video about those, but for now just color over them. Red pencils usually have a lot of pigment, so you don't have to worry about it not showing. Just draw over your natural eyebrow. If you feel that there is hair where it shouldn't, you should trim it. It's all up to you. Just draw over your eyebrows and everything should be fine.
After all the makeup is done, I apply a bit of white pencil in the corner of my eyes near the waterline and I smear it with my fingers so the color is not very visible. Then it's time to start moisturizing our lips. I apply a bit of Body Shop Balm on my lips so that they start getting moisturized for later to apply the concealer on them to take away all the color. Then it's time for the contouring. I use this shade for my palette and I apply it on my cheeks, my chin, my temples and my nose. I use a small brush to smear the one in my nose and I use a larger brush for the other ones. When all this is done, I put a bit of white pencil in the middle of my rose to define it and then I smear it with the tip of my fingers. Now it's time to conceal my lips. They are very dry so they need a lot of care so I always have to apply a lot of balm. I apply a bit of baton concealer on my lips and also on the other sensitive parts that may have lost its concealment, such as the forehead and the dark circles. If you have dry lips like me and you need to apply a lot of balm, please do as many times as you think it's fit. I suggest that at the end you apply a bit of powder to seal everything once again. And then to finish I apply a bit of setting spray, just to make everything more. And then I put on my wig. I insert it from front to back. I clip it in the back. I glue it a bit to my face so it does all the hair doesn't go everywhere. It has been pre styled I have this wig for a very long time, I actually need, need a new one already, but uh, I just insert it, glue it, comb it a bit, maybe straighten some parts, and it's done.
So yeah guys, it's finished. It took me a long time to uh, actually do another makeup video, but uh, I did it! Yay! Finally, for a very long time I haven't done so. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I know that I'm not the greatest Rin on planet Earth, but I really enjoy cosplaying him and he's one of my favorite characters of all times. I really identify with him because I'm a crybaby. <laughs> And cosplaying as Rin was very important for me. It was one of the biggest costumes I've ever made entirely by myself, the Splash Free costume. And uh, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm very happy with it and I really love the photos that I took. So I'm really glad that I was requested to do this makeup by a friend. I hope you like it, by the way, because I understood that she needed my help to create a Rin makeup of her own. So, I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you will subscribe, like, all of those things for more videos like this. And um, I hope that you guys will come back for more and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye!